Hi. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Wi-Fi 7 in the context of sniffing the multi-link operations traffic as it's something new that we are encountering in this era and um, a few insights on that which we've been able to gain from practical experimentation is what I would like to share. My name is uh, Srikant and I'm with NanoCell Networks. So quick uh, recap, multi-link operations uh, involve an AP multi-link device and a non-AP multi-link device uh, using multiple links, say as an example, 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz to start with, uh, either by switching between links or using those multiple links depending on the capabilities of both sides. Remember that it's a single association from the non-APMLD to the APMLD on the same SSID, which is being used for this particular multi-link association. Obviously, there are various advantages which have been talked about, and this is one of the most interesting features coming out in Wi-Fi 7. The challenge now is, if we want to troubleshoot something in a multi-link scenario, how do we use sniffers, which we have relied on in previous generations, to look at various facets of the traffic or frames going back and forth between the APMLD and non-APMLD. So we've been experimenting with uh, real-life APMLDs in the lab and we've been able to use them in the sniffer mode on multiple links simultaneously. So this is the nice thing that the chipset vendors are now finding that sniffing uh, on some of these new features are quite important for the uh, practical scenarios. So they have included support where the APMLD can be used as a sniffer when let's say operating on say sample links like 2.4, 5 and 6. And it results in a single PCAP file containing the transactions. Let's say if we conduct an experiment between an APMLD and a non-APMLD on these links, it contains the various frames traversed on the various links and uh, a lot of interesting things can happen using this sort of feature which is now available in the AP side. What about on the station side? We have not yet experimented fully on the station side but uh, because the APs are generally the higher capable devices, we've gone with that first on the sniffing side. What can we learn in this MLO context using a sniffer like this? So some of the things between uh, when the APMLD and non-APMLD are associated or connected on multiple links is basically things like uh, what do the different beacons and probe responses say about one another because they do talk about other links and their capabilities and identities reduce neighbor report and multi-link element are very important. Usually the beacon and probe response frames still go at legacy sort of rates. So technically you might not need a Wi-Fi 7 card to just see the beacon on one link, but if you want to see all of them together in one file, um, then it's useful to have the, the new age sniffer. But more importantly, I think the new sniffing capability allows us to look at what happens with respect to the traffic? And here we are talking about the EHT PPDUs going on in the different links between the same APMLD and non-APMLD. And here is where one could possibly look at how much data on the downlink or uplink went on one or more links. Uh, do the APs and the client prefer the same links for sending their respective data or do they prefer different links? What could be the reasons? Um, on what link does association and other security procedures happen? Does it happen more than one link? Um, we could create conditions where we might want to change the, the link properties and see whether there are uh, in intelligent link adaptation in the sense of 
using different links dependent on the conditions of the other links uh, are built in. So these are the, I would say, new things which we are likely to encounter uh, when we look at how efficiently MLO is working uh, in the practical context. And I think uh, slowly we will be able to get an insight into the uh, sort of MLO feature and see whether that has been tuned well in that particular product and um, if we can improve things and get some performance benefits out of that.